Sticky Fingers sent me two vintage MREs. We're going to be doing a double feature video and starting with menu number nine, Chicken a la King. Ooh, boy. And following it up with meatballs and barbecue sauce, menu 10. I'm going to be expecting that the actual entrees themselves may be a bit off by this point. You never know with the thermostabilized packaged entrees from back in the day, the condition of them. It's all about storage conditions on these old MREs. So we're gonna crack these things open and see how well they held up. We're gonna crack both of them open, starting with menu nine, chicken a la king, or was dubbed chicken a la thing by a lot of guys from what I've read. Check this out. I don't feel like peeling the top. I always slid them from the back. It's easier. Crackers. Oh yeah. Classic. Cocoa beverage powder feels fine. Look at the smaller look at the smaller boxes in old school. Long list of ingredients too. Check out the ingredients list. There's a lot going on in there. A little five ounce entree. Accessory packet A. Oh yeah, that cheese spread that feels pretty pretty hard. It's gonna be <laughs> something that yeah, that's gonna be fun. And I believe it's a fruit cake. Let's see. Oh yeah, fruit cake. But this is a 1985. Oh wow, so this is a 30-year-old entree, a little bit over 30 years old. Technically, you could call it a 31-year-old entree by this point. All right, so this is what consists of a 1985 menu nine chicken a la king. And let's get a tray out. Do this thing up right. Oh boy, check that out. We're gonna start off with the entree. See how this is looking. old hard glue on the back of it. Oh yeah, it feels okay. Oh, that weird mark. No idea what that is. This was packaged the 298th day of 1984. A real classic. Now it was 1993 when they actually added flameless ration heaters to this thing. It was like made nine years before that. These guys were either boiling it in a bag or just eating it cold. That doesn't look so bad. Let's see how it smells. It smells okay. Oh boy, what am I getting myself into here? Now there's just something a little bit off smelling on it. Like it had metallic odor and I don't like it. I just don't like it. It's almost not passing my smell test. I said it smells fine, but gave it another whiff there and it's just, uh, I don't know, I'm not sure. Before we go further, let's get a nice close up of that. Check out the fruitcake. I actually kind of have high hopes for this thing, even though it has nuts, so it's probably gone rancid. This was packaged the 101st day of 1985. It smells kind of weird. Let's get it out. I can tell the nuts have gone rancid just by the dark color of them. That is not edible. I can tell you right now, I've tried these before. I've had some real issues with nut cakes in the past. Fruit cake, nut cake, maple nut cake, chocolate nut cake. Any of the nut cakes, okay? And this is one of them because it's got nuts in it. I mean, I'm gonna maybe give it a little small taste test along with that chicken a la king, but both are not smelling palatable, to say the least. And old MREs do not hold up very well a lot of times, unless they were stored 
perfectly their ent entire shelf life. Oh my gosh, the these things, these crackers just smell bleachy. That's definitely not a good sign. Well, they got that bleached odor to them. Now let's see, was this back when they were salted? Yeah, they were still salted back then. I actually am not sure of the year when they were... Oh gosh, let's go for the cheese spread. This thing really didn't hold up that well. I'll say it right now. Oh gosh. Look at the cheese spread. I'm not liking it. Oh, gnarly. Look at that. Something about that right there that's just not cool. Ooh, look at that cheese spread. Oh! Oh, God, no, no. Alright. <laughs> like, let's just squeeze this out on one anyway. Just for the old hoot of it. Oh, God, no, look at this. <laughs> Yeah, that's just... Oh, man. What? No way. No way. Oh, God. This is in my room, too. Why do I keep doing this in here? Ugh. Okay. Uh, what do I do with it? Let's just stuff that in there. <laughs> okay. That's... <laughs> So far, not so good. I might not be doing much in the way of eating here. Because this is just... If it's not passing your visual test, or your smell test... Now this smells nice. When you open up old accessory packets, like I said before, you bury your nose in there because it's one heck of a pleasant, nice smell. There's not much out there that smells like it. I can't really compare it to much. If you ask me, this is definitely your best coffee from MREs. Coffee Instant Type 1 from back in the 80s. And it was packaged January 10th, 1985. That was a good year. And this thing is still perfect. I mean, I can tell you right now, even if it's hard as a rock and you break it up, this is still fine. The creamer. Still perfect. The gum, perfect. Excellent color to it. It's not oxidized at all. Salt is salt, unless it came out of a Royal Canadian Air Force ration, then you might have a problem. And of course, your matches. Let's see if it's red or white phosphorus striker. White. Not like there's a difference. I've noticed that the red tends to shoot sparks everywhere though. Oh my gosh, what have I got myself into here? This is awful. And I'm going to save the cocoa beverage powder for some ranger pudding on the next entree, so. And it feels fine, so. Yeah, not bad. We're gonna put that to the side. Everyone's seen that anyway. Let's try out the chicken olive thing. Oh, it just looks so disgusting. No wonder guys complained about this. But one guy told me recently, what is it, Charles, I believe? Was it Charles that told me? Yeah, Charles said this was a really good entree. Maybe he was really hungry back in the day. I don't know. Oh, boy. I can't take a whole bite. Look at the mushroom in there. There's just something about this. I mean, I've had this in a ration cold weather. That's a whole different ball game. Sent one of those to Gundog, hoping to see his take on that one of these days. In case this is no good, I got something to spit into. <laughs> Some MRE napkins. Let's try it out. Oh, no. Dude, it's metallic. And it's got a tinge of something. Ugh. No. No way, dude. Ah. Oh man, they didn't give you enough of these napkins. It's like... The strongest taste of chicken broth. Do not eat that. And I can tell the difference between something that's just kind of gross tasting and then something that's <laughs> genuinely not good. I don't have that much of an iron lined stomach. Fruitcake has a nice nutmeg and cinnamon 
odor to it. Perhaps this thing is still good. Let's try it. Yeah, that's not good either. The nuts are ran through the... Oh, great. That's going to be hard to get. Wash that out of my mouth. Man, rancid stuff. <sighs> rancid nuts and these old nut cakes. It will swell up your tongue. Well, nothing was edible in this. I'm telling you, I'm not even trying the crackers. When they smell like bleach, it tastes ten times worse than it smells. Oh, Christ. That's fresher than this. But this is still chewable. I mean, like, really, once you get through that initial crunch, it's not so bad. But yeah, this stuff, this is all trash. Chicken a la king, menu number nine. What a doozy. Get one more look at this. My room stinks. I can smell it from here. Jeez. I can smell an overpowering tone of chicken, fruitcake, weird fruitcake that's kind of nice, but weird smelling at the same time. And then that, and that, and this is just killing me. I'm getting this out of my room. We're going to continue this video in a sec here. All right, now it's time for the menu 10 meatballs of barbecue sauce. Yeah. There we go. Ah, I got some more cocoa beverage powder. That wasn't on the list. That's cool though. Let's see what we got. Crackers. Classic. Accessory packet A. Oh, it's botulism. Look, it's totally bulged. I am not even going to open that thing. Like, look at this. See that? Look at the, oh, it's just awful. If I even take this out of the box, it's risky. But I'm going to do it anyway. But I'm not opening it, okay? I'm not opening that. There's absolutely no point. Oh, great. Chocolate nut cake. That's okay. Just another rancid snack. And then, oh, this is cool. Potato patty. And you can't even read it. All those... Old dark brown package. Potato. Take my word for it. Potato patty. And then grape jelly. This is a weird menu. Now check this out. God, I better be careful. Because seriously, if this blows up on me, I'm not going to be happy. Check this out. I hope it's not leaking. Look at this, right? I'm scared to get it off that glue. Look, it's, I'm not opening that, okay? Trust me, when it's like this, and it's bulging like it is, it feels like it's a balloon that's about to pop. It's just not happening. I can feel the meatballs in there. There's no point in messing around with this. I am not opening this in my room. It looks, <laughs> I'm looking at the screen here, and it looks like it's fine from where you're going to be at. You're going to think, why didn't you open that? Trust me, I've opened up enough MREs to know that when the box is like this, blimped out like that, that's not normal. That's not supposed to be like that. This is, I can feel how it's just expanding in that pouch. I'm not opening that. I mean, if you guys really want me to open this up, let me know in the comments. I'll go outside and I'll open this thing. I'm not going to throw this out right away. I'm going to put this right back in here. I'm going to put it in a tub. All right. And let me know if you're just dying to see it. But I'm not opening this in my room. I'm not crazy. Not that crazy, at least. So, meatballs and barbecue sauce. Let me give you the ingredients list. You even put Worcestershire sauce in there. Not bad. Grape jelly. We'll be trying that out. Chocolate nut cake. Really not that excited about this. I know it's rancid. I know it's no good. Judging by the storage conditions of this thing. <sighs> Crackers. Back when they were salted. Back when they were really good. I mean, they're good now, but not like that. Man, I was really hoping to get a peanut butter so I could do some ranger pudding. That's okay. We'll be doing some ranger pudding eventually. You know, the guys on the last video were talking about, you know, ranger pudding and various things that they would 
mix up in the field, you know, to change up these things because the menu variation was awful. It was just 12 menus to a case. They were really creative with it, innovative. You know, you had to do what you had to do when you're out there. You're eating this stuff all the time and it gets boring. It gets boring fast. All right, let's try out these crackers first, see what's up with them. They might be good or they might be bleachy smelled stale fest like the last one. The color is not that great on them, but let's see. Yeah, again, they just smell awful. Like they are failing the smell test. And I'm telling you, I'd be eating these things. I'd be trying them out for you guys if they were still good. Yeah, I'm just gonna try out a small piece anyway. What's wrong with me? But yeah, they don't taste that great. But they aren't as bad as the last one. The last one was just bleach fest. I mean, trust me. Anybody that knows what old MRE crackers taste like when they're not good anymore, it's not pleasant. It's not cool. These are actually still edible. They're like barely edible. I'm actually going to brave it. I'm going to try them out, you know? I mean, what are you going to do? Just throw out all the crackers? I'm not doing it. I got, I got to try out something here. I mean, Christ. Must be crazy. Let's put some jelly on them. Let's check it out. Let's put the jelly on a spoon. Really get the good contrast behind the white old school MRE spoon before you had your long reaching down the pouch. Actually efficient spoon you had these. Oh, making a mess. Stuff really got dark. See that? See that separation? Check that out. Down the hash. Let's try this out here. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, like, let's put some out on a cracker and you can really get the full effect here. Check this out, right? This is how this stuff goes. It'll like separate, it gets kind of weird after all those years. determined to eat this whole thing. I mean, why not, right? You got a good look there, right? It's really not bad. Actually, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Oh, man. All right, so like the potato patty, why does it have accessory packet A? What the heck were you eating it with? I mean, I guess meatballs or barbecue sauce, you know? You'd be mixing it with it. Like, come on now. So like, I've got an accessory packet D over here somewhere with catsup. This gives us a perfect opportunity to try out catsup. Okay, let's go through the box of old school accessory packets here. This is my little, like, yeah, whatever. All right, let's find accessory packet D. No, got candy in that one. No, this one's packed by Right Away Foods. Nice. Hot sauce in that one. We're looking for cats up. That's what's gonna be. Yeah, yeah. You know, I eat half that thing. I'm starting to get a weird. I don't know. Check this out, right? Rafco freeze dried. Well, they're right away foods. That's what Ruler Yak told me, and he's right. Sin pack. Nope. No. God, I hope I have a one with cats up. I gave Sticky Fingers one with cats up, and this one's got some weight. No. Look at that. Right on. There we go. Accessory packet D. Let's put the rest of these back in here. Back in the collection. Oh, yeah, this was back in the day lost my hard drive on an old photo set if anybody recognizes that had it from a australian cr1m actually i'm getting a couple of those in the mail from 2000 so they're going to be 16 years old that's going to be an upcoming review uh well actually at least one of them working on getting another it's kind of expensive it's ridiculous but who cares it's material all right, I got an accessory packet D with the cats up, busted out of the collection. Let's see if the actual cats up itself 
is actually good still. And it's not. It's hard as a rock. Anybody want to know what catsup looks like anyway? Back in the day, they gave you catsup dehydrated 7 grams. Use dry or reconstituted envelope by adding 2 teaspoons of water. Trust me, I've actually had one of these that was still good. And it's on MRE in Info. And I called the uh, post the phases of catsup. I had three different kinds. Two were no good. One was fine. This one I can guarantee you is no good just by the way it feels. So let's check it out. Oh yeah, this one's like a real doozy. Check that out, right? You can tell it's not good. Look at this thing. Oh god. Hold on. Look at that thing. Yeah, that thing's past its prime. Yeah, check it out, right? Yeah. No thanks. Ugh. So what's left of this thing? You got the accessory packet. Gonna save that too, because everybody knows what's in it. Okay, if you didn't... Accessory packet A. Coffee, creamer, substitute, sugar, salt, chewing gum, matches, and paper toilet. Toilet paper. They have to go and word it crazy. Alright, let's... We'll check this out in a sec, but... Let's go for what we are pretty darn sure is still edible. And that's a potato patty. You can reconstitute it in water, hot or cold, cover with water, let soak until soft for about five minutes, and then drain. This is cool. These are not common, and I wasn't expecting this in here. Just as neat, if not neater, than a chocolate-covered oatmeal cookie. Look at that. Feels kind of oily on the outside. Give it a smell test here. It smells kind of stale and weird. Uh, here, let's get it out of this first. It's like, it doesn't want to come out really. You could add water to it in there, but we're not going to do it like that. That would have been the way to do it out in the field, is you just drop some water, because this is the same material plastic as what you would have in a long range patrol ration, and you know it can take the heat. Nice. Yeah. Oh man, it's so good. I'll have this part. And then with the rest of it, we'll add water. So that's the potato patty. And um, it's pretty much just like hash browns. You know. Like the savage I am, I ended up just finishing them up. I mean, not bad for 30, 31 years old. But then again, it's just freeze-dried, so what do you expect? That's the one thing that should hold up. And this is the one thing that should not. It's Next month, it's going to be 31 years old chocolate nut cake. Let's give this a look. It's not as dark on initial appearance as I thought. I've come across these and... This is the notorious scenario I had one time where I had one of these, and the nuts were rancid in a 1991 nut cake. And it swelled up my tongue, and it was a nightmare. Very uncomfortable scenario. Actually, I think these crackers were starting to go rancid. I don't know why I ended up eating that one anyway. Crazy. It has that nice glossy shine to it. I mean, it does look pretty decent now, doesn't it? Look at those nice chocolate chips in there. I mean, this thing used to be something, but you can also see the nuts got really dark in there. That's not cool. You have to break all the nuts out of the chocolatey part for it to actually... Let's give this a check. Taste test. The chocolate tastes good, but the nuts are rancid. I mean, I can tell. Even a little piece like this is enough to swell your tongue up if you aren't careful. Okay, because when you eat something like this with nuts that's 30 years old, you don't just start chowing down because it'll seem kind of fine at first. 
then it'll sneak up on you. And the more you eat, the more it builds up. If there's a way that you can work around the nuts when eating something like this, and you just spit the nuts out, and you just have the rest, which is kind of a pain the, you know what. I mean, this is, oddly enough, so far so good. I don't really know how, but it doesn't seem bad. But that's the kicker. You can get it. The, the most deceiving foods that are spoiled are nuts and dry milk. That's, there's just too much of the nuts in there. It's like, you see how I'm having a, the cake is fine, the chocolate's fine, but the nuts are rancid. Like, look, yeah, they are. I'm starting to feel it. Like, look, I'm starting to feel it in my mouth, too. Yeah. Ugh. Like that little thing. Rancid and weird. And it's masked by the shortening, vegetable shortening, everything. That little thing right there is a rancid and... Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Oh, no. Oh, sh... Alright, that wasn't cool at all. Like, dude, that thing is so disgusting. It's rancid. It's awful. It's a nightmare. Alright, I'm I'm wrapping this up. Okay. Anybody want to see the meatballs with barbecue sauce outside? That's cool. As for these cocoa beverage powders, which feel perfectly fine, we'll find out if they're rancid or not, because sometimes they are. Especially in these older 80s ones. I've noticed this. Norton and other people off MRE Info have tried these when they, you know, were older ones and they wished they didn't. So I think I've been through enough punishment tonight with that nut cake. My tongue is swelled up at the bottom. The mucous membranes are just going crazy. And I am going to wrap this up. These two MREs were not really edible. And... You know, not a disappointment. This is science. I do not mind. Okay, like, we learn about things like how these can deceive anybody, okay? you could, if, if somebody opens up an old MRE and they get a nut cake, be careful, because the nuts are 90% chance rancid, unless it came from Germany. I don't know why, but it seems like all the Germans are super lucky when it comes down to their rations. I swear, like, in Germany, like... MRE Heater 72 from back in the day, he'd crack open these nut cakes like back in 2010, 2011, 2012. He'd have like a 30 year old cherry nut cake. He went out on a hike and the thing was perfect. I don't get it. It's all about climate control. So be careful. All right, like these crackers can sometimes get bleachy scented and still be relatively edible. This was mildly rancid. I was able to actually eat one of the crackers and get away with it. Hopefully I'll get away with it later, if you know what I mean. Anyways, yeah, like older MRE spoons, which are just like MCI spoons. They're not really efficient. They're tiny. And then cats up. They, you can see that that doesn't hold up. Now, granted, I'm sorry that wasn't in this actual MRE, but I was saving that pack for a demonstration. And I had no idea if the cats up was good or not. I was really hoping it'd be good. I could mix it with the hash brown or the potato patty, whatever you want to call it, which was still good. The crackers were still good. The jelly was still good. The cocoa beverage powder, probably still good. Half the caloric content in this ration was still good. It was just your main entree and your main dessert that was not. The main entree has botulism in it, okay? I'll bet you $100 there's botulism in that inflated, bulging pouch. And yes, it's bulging. I, I, I know the difference. I've held old MRE in the old school olive drab dark green style. Look at how it bulged the box. You can see that. That's not normal. It's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be like that. And that's slightly depressed in, but it's not supposed to be like that. That's what happened over time, and it stayed that way. You see? Like, this is normal. That is not. And that's what happened. It expanded. And it's just brimming with botulism, and it's disgusting. And we're going to open that outside. I'll do it. Especially if you guys are like, yeah, I want to see it. I'm just not sticking my face in there to smell it. It's just, it's not normal, okay? It wouldn't be normal for me to try it. And when I say normal, I know my parameters of normal, 
I mean, I've eaten 70 or old or whatever. I've eaten food from 1950. Malted milk tablets. It's all about storage conditions. It's all about the ingredients that are used in these rations. Sight, visual, smell, taste test in that order. You saw how I just tried out small bits of this thing? That's the only way to do it. If I was just chowing down, oh, this seems fine, because it does at first. The rancidity sneaks up on you. Your mucous membranes are the first thing that's going to tell you. Your digestive system will tell you later. If I ate that whole thing, I'd be sick. All right, guys, this is Steve1989 from MREinfo.com, and these were two vintage MREs from 1985. I hope you guys enjoyed this strange review. I enjoyed doing it. It was great. And uh, comment away, you know, like, I, I want to hear about the old school fellas that had to eat these things. Um, you know, we're going to brainstorm a nice video on testing out things like the Ranger cookie, the Ranger pudding. And the thing that Charles mentioned with the freeze-dried fruit and then adding some cream to it. Now, granted, I love my freeze-dried fruit squares, just freeze-dried. That's the beauty of it by this point. But I will hydrate half of it and add some creamer. We'll get like a neat, neat creamy fruit salad. Yeah, guys, hope you have a great day or evening, whatever's the case. Cool. All right, see ya.